fun fashion and lifestyle. I just want to come on and have a little chit chat with all of you and let you know that we got some new exciting things coming this year. Today's January 1st, 2022. And my gosh, do I have some exciting news for you. You know, we were only doing vlogs every Sunday. Well, I'm picking it up. We're going to be doing every Wednesday and Sunday moving forward. I have so many new exciting things that I want to share with you all. And I just cannot wait to take you all along for the ride. Um, just to let you know, we I didn't do a vlog last week. And reason being is I have some few family members who became sick with, you know, Rona. And um, yeah, I had to pretty much care for them. So I did their grocery shopping. I did meals on wheels for them. I were cooking and doing all those type of things for them. And it was like three different households. So it kept me pretty busy where I couldn't do a, a vlog for you guys or a video for you guys. So that's what's was happening last week. But like I said, it was a blessing. Everybody's doing well. Christmas came. I spent it alone on the phone talking to my loved ones. I stopped over to two of my kids' homes and watched them open their gifts through the window. And it was fine. I mean, I didn't miss the beat. So it was fine for me. Um, the day after Christmas was uh, December 26th. I ran over to Bath and Body Works. You know, I had to be early because I wanted to hit those sales before it just got overcrowded. Well, it was crowded when I walked in the door. <laughs> so it did get a little bit unorganized over at Bath and Body Works, but I got what I came for and I left. There was a few things that wasn't there that I wanted to receive, to get. So what I ended up doing was going home and ordering them online. Mm, simple as that. So just to show you a couple things that I did get, I got two of the Autumn Day candles. Um, Autumn Day is like a really light scent, which is perfect. It has um, the, the scent notes are, where are they? Green, crisp, well, crisp green apple, figs, white birch, cedar, and natural essential oils. It's perfect for me. I love soft scents, but I do like that vamp in your face scent too. So move for, moving on to that one. I picked up two of the watermelon lemonade. This is a any kind of uh, sale that they have. I'm gonna get these. I'll always have these. I've got so many candles, and I'm telling you, this is one of my favorites. Um, the fragrance notes for this one is watermelon ice, sparkling water, Mayer lemons, and natural essential oils, which is perfect. The next candle that I picked up is a no-brainer. The stress relief uh, candle, which is the eucalyptus, eucalyptus and spearmint scent. I picked up, actually, I picked up three of them. I didn't go overboard where I would just pick up tons of these ones. And the reason being is I had several of them at home already. So why, why bother? Um, the next one, which is kind of new to me, is the Torquoise Waters. I smelled this candle many times before. The only thing is, I never wanted to buy it. It smells like Blue Magic Hair Grease, but it, it's... It do smell good. I'll be honest. It do smell good. The um, scent notes for this one is Coastal Waves and Sparkling Bergamot, Sun Drenched Musk, and Natural Oils. I really love the way this candle smell. It just got that Blue Magic Hair Grease scent to it. So, it's okay. <laughs> well, this one I didn't buy at Bath & Body Works. I just wanted to let you guys know this one was gifted to me and it is my favorite, favorite, all-time favorite scent. I even like this one better than the stress relief depending on what day but this is the vanilla birch it smells so good it's so calming it's so it's like a very romantic scent you know what it remind me of for some of my old school people remember the, the show dynasty years years ago back in the 80s I, I was a kid but i'm telling you when i tell you guys that i've been a fragrance head since i was a baby i have been but this reminds me of Crystal. She had a perfume came out called Crystal. And this is what this smells like to me. And the notes to this one is white birch, Madagascar vanilla, warm sandalwood, and natural essential oils. Hmm. All the candles have natural essential oils. <laughs> but this is my favorite next to the stress relief. Um, the next candle I got, and I purchased this candle for my mom. Reason being, she loves this candle and it's a fall fragrance but she will burn it in the summer spring the winter and she may even skip the fall and have a little bit left and burn it again until it's gone but anywho um i picked her up the pumpkin cupcake really smells really yummy i'm telling you if you get this candle and you burn it people come over to your house they're going to immediately be hungry and looking for some kind of sweet or cakes it has a uh, whipped buttercream madagascar vanilla 
pumpkin spice, and freshly baked cupcakes with natural essential oils. This, it really do smell good. I, I'll be honest, I just couldn't burn it all year round. <laughs> so when I got home, like I said, I did go in and order some new candles. The candles that I ordered once I made it home was the strawberry pound cake. I got three of those, smells so good. I can't wait till they come in. I actually burnt one that I had already yesterday. And I also got the sensual amber. Now, if you guys remember, I said, if you wear sensual amber lotion or the body cream or the moisturizer, whatever they have over at Bath and Body Works, and you pair it with Chanel number no. five, game changer. You got to try it. While over at Bath and Body Works, I also picked up some uh, wallflower refills. So I got two vanilla patchouli. I got, ah, about to drop it. I got two limoncello. Um, one is freshing fresh and relaxing and the other one is fruity and happy I'm not sure that they had two different scents of limoncello but anywho so the next one I got was my favorite strawberry pound cake which smells so good to me it's so such a yummy scent over at Bath and Body Works too I always I don't care guys I'm telling you trust me I have been doing phenomenal since the whole illness and everything like that came up I always use good hand sanitizer gel. I got like six of them. And they were quite on the expensive side. But the thing that I, I, I missed that one sale when they were all for like a dollar. I'm telling you, I got to be on my game for Bath and Body Works. Normally my um, co-worker always tell me when the sales are or I see it online. <laughs> so I got two, which were men fragrances, which I like to throw into my boyfriend's cock. I got him the marble and I also got him ocean. And they both smell very masculine. I got happy place for me because that's where I will be in 2022 in a very happy place. I also picked up the Chris Morning Air. It smells really nice. And lavender and vanilla. And an all-time favorite, which is warm vanilla sugar. So while I was over at Sephora, I picked up necessary now i haven't used it yet the box is really really beat up it was the last one over at sephora and it retailed for 40 bucks which wasn't bad that's the only reason why i purchased it it comes in the travel size um bottles and what it has in it is the body exfoliator and it comes in this scent of eucalyptus it also has the body wash same scent which is fine I'm okay with that but what i wanted to really really try is the body serum now we all use serums for our face. I've never used the whole body serum before, so I'm really excited to try that one. And it also comes with the body lotion. Now, the body lotion and the body serum, they're unscented, and I can't wait to use it. The next thing I picked up was a couple lipsticks. So I got NARS, the Afterglow Lip Balm. They're not lipsticks, which I thought they were. And yeah, I was duped. <laughs> I didn't read, actually. Um, the first one I got was called Orgasm. So. The way orgasm looks, this is the color. And it's such a pretty pink, but the thing is, it comes on real soft, real smooth, and it feels really nice on your lip. Um, and the packaging is just so pretty, so girly. The next one I picked up is called Dulce Vita. Okay, so it comes in the same container as the other one, same packaging, and it's a darker tone. But like I said, it comes up as kind of clear. You get like a little pinkish hue, but it's I like it. I like the color. I want to go back and get the lipstick actually this color. So while also over there, I grabbed um, Anastasia Beverly Hill Matte Lipstick. Came in a box like this. This is the packaging for the lipstick, but wait till you see this color. How pretty is that? Nice, right? Yeah, can't wait to wear this. I guess I'll wear it today. Somebody will be having a dinner. I don't cook no more. Um, while also over there, I picked up some, and this is actually, I'll be honest, what the only thing I really went over there to pick up was the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. I wanted a contour, because <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm new with the whole makeup game, but watch me, Matt. It really hasn't been cold in our area, but my lips have been really dry, and I jumped on the bandwagon and got the Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy Recovery Lip Mask. I should've got two, because I got a cousin with some crusty, crusty lips, and she would've really benefited from this. I tried it last night for the first time before I went to bed because it's a um, 
it restores and condition overnight. So I use it overnight, which is super cool. It's really creamy. I thought it would be more thick than what it was. Well, than what it is, and it's not. So it comes with this little spatula, and I'm gonna be honest, I just dug it out and rubbed it on my lips and popped this sucker back in. So I did notice a small difference when I got up this morning, but I keep like my lips highly moisturized anyway, so I just don't want the chapness and it peeling in the middle and all of that stuff. I'm not going for that. I'm not looking like yeah, my cousin. But anyway, uh, I also picked up a fresh sugar mint rush. This is a freshening lip treatment. I've used this already and I love it. it. It has a mint rush. It says mint rush, but it smells like mint when you put it on. It's green. It doesn't turn your lips green or anything like that, but it is so nice and moisturized. And I think this is probably will be gone before the winter. I'll use this one mostly every day. Um, again, I was influenced by an influencer and I ran over while I over there. I took a smell of um, replica. Now I wanted to smell the coffee break because so many people were saying that one smells so good and I think it's something by the fireplace. I don't remember. They have so many different scents and candles too. I have not tried a candle. But have y'all smelled that candle by Jackie Anna? Jackie, you know, the YouTuber, African girl, beautiful, makeup be on point. She has a new set of candles and I'm, I'm almost tempted to buy those. <laughs> Look, Jackie Anna, if somebody hear this, please send me a candle. Anyway, um, this one, the one that I picked is called Under the Lemon Tree. Now, when I smelt this at the store, it you can smell the lemons in it. But once I got it home, opened up my box, I smelled CK1. <laughs> but it either way it go, it smells really good. So it says, um, originally under the tr uh, under the lemon tree, province and period, Palermo, 1987. It says fragrance description is relaxing and bright lemons. Maybe the, you know, when it dried down, I would get that more lemony scent that I smelt over at uh, Sephora. And style description, it is female and male fragrance, which I can truly tell because it smells so much like CK1 to me right now. I hope this is going to be a keeper for me. I am not smelling the lemons that I smelt in the store but like I said I'll let it dry down and then I'll see so I want to say this is the, <laughs> the fragrance of the day but I'm gonna need a little time to figure it out because I sprayed it on right before I uh, shot this video but it do smell good I just like I could have got CK1 a little cheaper this was like $130 so yeah, that is my haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't with you guys last week. And just be looking forward to uh, two videos per week. So Wednesdays and Sundays, I will be somewhere near you.